Now we're working new details on same-sex marriage in Rhode Island. Governor Lincoln Chafee signed the bill into law last night, allowing gay and lesbian couples to wed starting August 1st. Some have already started planning their ceremonies, so what will this wedding boon mean for the state's economy? From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Highway to Sue's reporter Susan Campbell is outside the State House. I just spoke with a local wedding planner. She says the new law allowing same-sex couples to get married here in Rhode Island will mean big business for the entire wedding industry. In fact, she says she already booked a summer wedding for two brides. Christine Ellingwood has been a wedding planner for eight years. She's done simple, elegant affairs and large, lavish events. And now she's planning her first same-sex wedding for a couple originally planning to get married in New York. The grandmother of one of the brides lives in Rhode Island and wouldn't be able to come to their wedding in New York. Once the law passed, they said we have to have grandma at this wedding and are getting married now in Rhode Island. Thursday evening, Governor Lincoln Chafee signed the Marriage Equality Act into law, making Rhode Island the 10th state in the nation to allow same-sex couples to tie the knot. According to a recent study released by the UCLA School of Law's Williams Institute, legalizing same-sex marriage will pump an estimated $7 million into the state's economy within three years. It's venues, um, hotels in the area that will have out-of-town guests. Um, it's bands, it's DJs, photographers, videographers. I mean, the list goes on and on, so it's great. The same study predicts Rhode Island will issue about 800 marriage licenses to same-sex couples in the first three years after legalization. Under the new law, same-sex couples can get married here in Rhode Island beginning August 1st. At the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.